Uh, next, uh, Mr. Roland Lamb, uh, Director of um, uh, the Office of Addiction Services at DBHIDS. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> um, you don't know how much your presence here means to me. Um, as uh, Dr. Evans said, uh, about a year ago, I had a dinner meeting with Dr. Trusandra Taylor discussing um, how do you serve people and manage medication? Because it seemed that we were busy managing people and serving the medication. And um, we've been, as Arthur said, we've been wrestling with this over and over and over again and had not been able to come up with a consistent approach that served the people that needed uh, the service the most. Um, we have a number of uh, challenges in our system. And I can say to you, uh, especially, and, and I hate having to follow somebody who is in recovery who has a story to tell. I mean, it's like, you know, um, trying to follow Arthur, in fact, you know, it's, it's really difficult to do. But the reality is, is that we have a very, uh, 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 many challenges that we have to address uh, going forward in our field, uh, not the least of which have been uh, what are going to be huge budget cuts. If we don't, if we're not able to inform the larger system around us about the need to serve people in an appropriate way, uh, in the most clinically appropriate way, then we're going to be served by a, a larger system that not only does not understand, but does not care to. And I would hope that today is the beginning for everyone in this room to, uh, to share in this process of coming up with guidelines that we can actually integrate into our vision and values of transformation and recovery that allow us to then better serve a population of people that need to be better served. And for that, on that note, I'm gonna say thank you again very, very much. Have a great day. All right, thank you.